Hey guys, um, I'm about to post some videos from, there's one from six months after I was at my largest, a six month progression, and then there's one, the actual um, New Year's that I was at my heaviest. Um, you're going to see a huge difference in, especially my midsection, but to be honest, I've really lost weight everywhere, and the way I kind of think about weight loss is when... You know, we all have a different body type, and genetics play a huge role, but basically the shape of your body, you know, it's obviously going to expand, and some people put on weight in different areas, maybe some put more on in the lower half of their body. I tend to um, put it on all over, and the first place I noticed it came off is kind of a little bit of my arms. That was the biggest difference to me. I remember when I was at my heaviest, looking down when we were at this club in Chicago, which I referred to in one of my transformations, um, and I looked down at my shirt, which came down to here anyways, the sleeve, because I was trying to cover this. They were like marshmallow arms. But I looked down, and like I saw this skin kind of starting to roll over. I know it sounds, maybe it's not as bad as I thought, but I think it was. And that's when I was just kind of like, when did that happen? And I, you know, that's, a lot of things happened up to that point and it all kind of happened at once when I decided to change my mind. So I kind of just wanted to put myself out there and show you guys the big difference. You're going to see the videos before and um, I'm still working on weight loss. In fact, um, I'm still toning and the way I see it, getting back to my point before, is when you when you put on fat and you start to lose it, well strength training is really important because you're firming up what's underneath the fat and this is how I see it. Pretend this is like, this is your body and as your muscles grow and the fat shrinks, it just starts to get like this and eventually it's like shrink wrap and the reason strength training is so important is because you're going to start to see tone as soon as you do lose weight and also it's just I mean it changed my life by doing strength training so I kind of just wanted to show you guys a little bit um, of the difference it's made in me I have lost a lot of weight in my stomach and you'll see in the before videos um, I mean I still have a ways to go and for some reason this is taking the longest. My obliques in this is really tough, like it's really hard and there's not a lot of fat there. There's still some like right here and I'd say on my lower back and definitely in my leg area. Um, there's, I've lost a lot of um, fat up here, which is unfortunate, but um, that's just kind of comes with the territory and you kind of have to accept that. Uh, so I'm still working on this and sometimes, you know, I've learned through the, the fat loss process that things take a long time. It's for certain people, um, I mean, I feel like this part of me doesn't match up to maybe my arms. I know there's still some fat there and I'm not trying to achieve perfection by any means. I just want to be the best version of me I can be. And so... Um, continuously setting goals is something that I need in my life because with me I'm kind of one way or the other um, I don't know if you would call it an addictive personality but in some ways I would say that yeah that's probably true about myself um, if I'm not feeling very good I can tend to go in that direction a lot and I know that about myself and that's why um, I take certain steps and mental um, steps to stay clear from that path by continuously setting goals to move forward. And that's why the fierce forward is so important to me as a mantra because if I'm not always thinking about going forward, um, I can kind of sometimes let my emotions of circumstances um, take over. And I know for me that that's kind of a danger zone. And I know where it's gotten me before. So I just wanted to be honest with everyone and, and put it all out there because this is what I'm here for. Um, this is my passion and it's changed my life by doing what I did for myself. And you'll see in the before videos, the big difference. And looking back at those videos, I can kind of see, I just, I feel like I was different. And you know, time changes us all, us all anyways, and that was a year and a half ago, but I just don't feel like I was happy. And I know I wasn't looking back at those videos. I know what I was thinking then. Um, so I hope that that helps and gives you guys some, Kind of a viewpoint as to where I was 
visually versus where I am now. And also to know that, you know, I'm still setting goals for myself and I'm not perfect. And just because someone's, you know, a um, personal trainer or wants to get their personal trainer certification doesn't mean that they're perfect or they've mastered the art of health and fitness. I mean, it's a day-to-day -day battle and that's why I love it because I'm constantly working on myself physically and mostly mentally. So I hope that helps.